Today I'll be reviewing the updated version of Hergland & Sons Mark I Mecha Quartz Chronograph. Hergland & Sons is a micro brand founded by Brandon Hergland. Some of you might know his YouTube channel Watches on You. The brand was launched in the spring of 2020 after raising some money on Kickstarter. The watch has a so-called Mecha Quartz movement by Seiko and as the name suggests it's a quartz movement with some of the functionality of a traditional mechanical chronograph. I'll cover that more in detail later on. The stainless steel case with a snap-off back provides five atmospheres of water resistance. The back also features these laser engraved time zone and unit conversion data which I think is actually quite an interesting and amusing detail. As mentioned this is an updated version of Mark I and it's currently selling at around $100 on eBay. That's not to be confused with Mark II which is a different fully mechanical chronograph with a Chinese hand-wind seagull movement. The most notable change on the updated version are the polished steel hands on the subdials. In the first version they were black against the black background which made them a bit hard to read. I really liked the design from the outset and I think with this small change the already good looking and attractive dial has been perfected. Although the watch has obvious visual references to well-known models from famous brands it has enough distinctiveness to qualify as an interesting original design. The 40mm case fits very well on my mid-sized 17cm wrist. As you can see the domed sapphire crystal is giving slight distortions when looking at an angle, giving the watch a nice retro vibe. The genuine leather strap is not maybe the best one I've seen. The wax lining on the sides has started to slightly peel off after just a few days of wear. However, it feels surprisingly soft and comfortable on the wrist and it's far from the worst I've seen, so it's generally okay. The indices have small but quite decent loom dots, but a common complaint has been the lack of loom on the hands. As it turns out, the hands actually do have loom, but it's so very faint and dim that you can hardly see it. I tried filming it, but it cannot be captured on camera and frankly it's quite difficult to spot with the naked eye. So for all intents and purposes, the watch doesn't really have loom, as the fairly decent loom effect on the hour markers isn't very useful when the loom on the hands is almost non-existent. However, having said all that, I don't really think it's such a big issue. The watch is not a diver and I don't think loom is such an essential feature for a chronograph. As mentioned, the watch has a Mecha Quartz movement by Seiko, it's caliber VK64. So as I start the timer, you can immediately notice the sweeping seconds hand usually seen on mechanical watches. When I stop and reset the timer, the watch returns the seconds hand in an instant whip motion, again a feature more commonly seen in mechanical watches. As a microbrand product the watch doesn't come with a warranty, however a Seiko movement is probably a fairly safe choice as it can be serviced or repaired by virtually any local watchmaker at a reasonable cost. I would add that the same cannot be said about the fully mechanical Seagull movement on the Mark II. Apparently it's a decent movement, but getting them serviced or fixed can be quite challenging and costly. So I would say this Mark I and this updated version of the Mark I is generally a safer choice. So to sum it all up, I think it's a good watch. I particularly like the looks of this watch, a very beautiful dial with a clear design without being simplistic. Everything seems just right. Generally good value for money too. The original asking price of $250 is just too high, but as it's been recently listed for around $100, I think that's a reasonable price for a decent watch. With shipping to Northern Europe, the cost overall I think was just under 100 euros.
Well, that's all. Let me know what you think in the comments. As you may have noticed, this is a new channel. Please like the video and subscribe if you would like to see more content like this in the future. Until next time and thank you for watching.